There's one Tulsa woman who's trying to do that. She's on a mission to show others you can turn away from violence in a life of crime. She's a booth at the Tulsa State Fair to get out her message. Two News Oklahoma Shea Smith is live tonight at the fair to tell her story. Yeah, Naomi, there are hundreds of booths here at the exhibit hall, but this one is one you might not expect to see. Uh, Miss Rogers, she has her life on display in her booth right behind me, and she hopes that it encourages others that they too can change. And they talk to you and they say, if you don't stop right now, you're going to make it to the big house. They told me that when I was a juvenile delinquent, and I'm telling them that. Retia Rogers hasn't had the easiest life. Something happened and they got a divorce and my life spiraled out of control after that. My dad, you know, was serving time in prison. My mom was doing some things and due to my environment, the way I was raised up caused me to turn and start living a life of crime. She says she got in trouble at a young age and was going down the wrong path. My life you know, it spiraled out of control. I joined a gang, I robbed, I did burglaries, I sold drugs, crack cocaine, marijuana. I fought a lot, I got expelled, I got kicked out. When I got in trouble and was pregnant at 15 years old, I had a baby at a very young age. Um, different things happened. But when she was 21 years old, sitting inside the Tulsa County Jail, she says she prayed, asking God to help her turn her life around. Hello. I was inspired by God himself to not return to my old ways and to go out and encourage people, inspire people to make a difference in their life because that's stupidity, that's insane when you keep doing the same thing, expecting different results. Come get a copy today, bestseller, I broke out of prison. And now she's encouraging others to do the same. Rogers wrote the book, I Broke Out of Prison, detailing her life story and how she finally found the right path. Now she goes to the Eddie Warrior Prison in Taft and Juvenile Detention Centers to talk to inmates and encourage them to break the cycle. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And they can make a change in their life as well. Now, if you would like to learn more about her story, you can catch her here at the Tulsa State Fair, or you can find this link on our website at KJRH.com. She does have some books for sale, and if you're um, interested in buying them and you can't make it down to the fair, we'll also have that link on our website as well. Live in Tulsa, Shay Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma.